Hi, it's Peter Burns, and the subject of this blog is How do you get a girlfriend when you got one? Now, it's okay, I haven't been married since I was 39, but it's sort of interesting. When you have something in the bag, everybody else wants to jump on the bandwagon. So, let me tell you a little story. We have a startup, we beta tested it, 15, 18 months, proved the model, made money, brought in some investment capital, a couple million bucks, um, we're off to the races. But in the meantime, we have a bigger plan. My partner was a very successful entrepreneur who went from zero to 160 million in his business 16 years ago, where I met him, um, in 18 months. And uh, unfortunately, he blew up and all that good stuff, and that was because 25 competitors came in and ate his lunch. Well, we're protecting our flanks. We are coming up with different ways to make us different and to uh, uh, sort of make it more difficult to copy us. But in the meantime, we have a bigger picture. We're going to need a lot of capital. Now, a few months ago, we were introduced to a representative of a private equity firm. And this particular private equity firm, like many, are taking positions in the vacation rental space. It's the hottest sector out there right now, and everybody wants a piece of it. Because we have a very unique aspect in vacation rentals, we are able to interest private equity firms who may like to come in and work with us. This particular firm, which was Texas-based, big, big Texas oil money, has actually offered to stake us 50 million bucks. Um, but it'll take us four to six months to ramp up to the point where we can actually take the money and, and apply it. And this is for a roll-up purpose. For those of you that know or don't know about a roll-up, it's basically taking individual operators in fragmented market, putting them under one umbrella, maximizing the economies of scale, injecting the capital and the manpower, et cetera, et cetera, and you're able to increase it, increasing the whole pie. The sum of the parts is greater than the whole. Generally speaking, but in this case, the whole is greater than a lot of individual parts. So we were pretty excited about that, and it was like four or six months down the road. Well, after the election, I had a phone call from one of the largest private equity funds in the country. This uh, gentleman owns his own family office, and he manages 12 more. And so he has a boatload of capital. And because we share the same politics, which is, you all know I'm very conservative and I was very happy to see President-elect Trump be elected, um, he felt the same way. And so we actually have a meeting with him, a definitive meeting with him in a few days hence. My partner's gonna meet with him. And uh, it is entirely possible that this gentleman will offer us tens of millions of dollars to do a roll up even sooner than the other equi private equity fund did. But I tend to believe that if we hadn't got the first offer, we're not as interesting to the second offer. And maybe a third and fourth, but in all honesty, you want to work with someone you like, and I would prefer to do business with someone who I already know, at least ostensibly from communication regarding our political bet. And my partner will meet with them one on one. Who knows, we may be shot to the moon sooner than we thought. So again, the, the concept here is, how do you get a girlfriend? When you got one. How do you get a private equity fund? When you got one. This is Peter Burns.